go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live like golden. Yeah, we're golden. What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest Fizz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. So today we are in the ADC role, first game back in a long time, say about 4 or 5 days, and we actually got autofilled. Um, not a big deal. I don't mind playing Fizz in pretty much any role. Um, so today we do have like one, two, three, including myself if I was going to go like full AP. Even Orin does like a good amount of AP damage through his uh, passive. So what we're going to do today is actually build like an AD build and just go like AD Fizz. I know a uh, Fizz has no like AD scaling. It's not that, you know, I mean, I don't really mind. You know me, I'll just make it work. Um, I do want to try to build a Mana Moon. So I'm going to go probably tier first into a Triforce, and then pretty much like AD uh, after that. I did go Electrocute, mainly because I just wasn't paying attention to the team comps in the pre-lobby. Just kind of uh, spaced out. That's fine. I'm going to start my W so I can actually give this guy a leash. Because if I start E, I really won't be able to give that guy much of a leash. We do got Vision on their bot lane, so that's good. I'd like to come over here and cop these first couple. It's going to be a pretty rough lane just anyways because they do have a double ranged lane. So that's going to be pretty tough for us. Oh, wow. A little bit of a frame drop there. Nice. They actually missed like the first three minions, which is really good for us. Let's walk up, try to grab as many as we can. They're playing pretty far back. Actually, it's um, Morgana mid. I thought it was going to be Morgana support. But it makes more sense because Lux has a uh, support item. Or a support summoner spell in the exhaust. They did get level 2 before, so we got to play a little safe here. Kind of to be expected. Like I said, they have a double range lane. We're just going to be bullied off. Karma's getting some really good poke in, though. Once we get level 3, we'll be able to trade a little bit more with these guys. But until then, we're just going to be getting a CS where we can. We'll have to give up a little bit. Not the biggest deal. Level our E right here. And then we'll just catch this wave as it falls in. Oh, she's got Glacial Augment. Okay, that's going to be a little annoying. Let's go ahead and swap them up. Just click that pot, let the pot tick up. Try and catch the CS as it falls here. And if they uh, just chip down the tower, kind of be expected. Shackle with the juicy first blood up top lane. Like I said, it's going to be a brutal early laning phase. I'm not super worried about it. Kind of to be expected. Look for a little poke onto her here. If I had level 3, we could have looked for something a little bit more onto her. Get a nice Q auto W onto her. If I had E, I would go for the kill there. But unfortunately, we do not. It's all good. Gonna look for a kill onto her here, if possible. Got all their stuff right there. Hopefully, Karma gives me a little bit of shielding here or something. Can't look for anything too crazy here, but we did just get all their stuff. I want to get enough gold up for a um, tier, obviously. And then I want to look for her right there. We definitely have enough to kill her now that they don't have exhaust and she doesn't have her summoners. Should be able to get this. All right, nice. As long as we can shove this in, we'll be real good. Looking real, real good. Ooh, nice. You got the... Uh, kind of messed me up a little bit there with the Relic Shield on the W reset, but that's fine. All right, let's get the reset in here. I Actually, I don't think we have enough for a tier, do we? No, nah, we don't. We need to stick around. I don't think I have enough mana to actually... Full combo her. So I'm just going to look for the minions more so than anything. Um, Still don't have enough for a, a tier. I really, really want to get the tier. Nice. I actually do have enough for the tier. Hopefully they don't. They're going to stop me if I stay. Not the worst. Just ping them Mia here. He's always got to be careful. 
Alright, got the tier. It's pretty juicy. Gonna be in a little bit of a power trough early. But once we get that tier stacked up and we get uh, start working that Triforce, we'll be really good. And we have all of their sums here, so... That'd be really nice. Once we get level 6, obviously we'll turn on in this lane too. We can be able to become a lot more effective in fighting these guys. And if they don't reset here, we can definitely look to pressure them in. Try to maybe look for a dive. Hopefully Karma can stop one of their backs. That'd be really good. Alright, so let's just try and stack up this tier. With our W reset. Looking pretty good. Actually, we stopped both of their backs. And if they do back there, this is a huge wave that they're going to be missing. So... Yeah, this is actually really good for us. We're going to get a lot of plates here because of how big of the wave there is here. I should have grabbed a uh, Dark Seal, actually, now that I think about it. Just for the amp uh, peeling from the Corrupting Pot. I might actually just get a quick reset in and do that. Soften up these minions. All right, looking pretty good here. I'm probably just going to, like I said, hard shove this. All right down with it let's come over here oh i can't go over the wall though if he goes for it we can obviously just fight him there i'll follow him over here don't particularly want to but we can definitely follow him here ignite him and qw through him let's uh let's take the drake here Should be able to kill this one. She's rooted here. Should be able to pick them apart here. Potentially even get these guys too. I'm going to flash for the slow on the both of them. Don't have a lot of damage with the tier, but we're working them down here. And if we get that, we got all the assists there. Well played by everyone. So we picked up, what, four assists there? Pretty juicy, boys. Pretty juicy. All right, let's go ahead and cop that dark seal now. And then we'll start working towards our Triforce at this point. So let's grab this, grab that, and then a control ward as well. All right, looking real good. I can't fight that right here, but he's level six, so he shouldn't have a problem, honestly. All right, sweet. We got our tier, got a little bit of AD, got the dark seal. Would have been nice to have that dark seal, honestly, right there, specifically because we had the four assists there, so we would have got four stacks of the dark seal. Not a huge deal, though. Going to have a lot of sustain. Looks like he's clearing his red, so he may even come look for a gank here. Once we get our level 6, like I said, we'll really be turning on. I'm going to throw a control ward right here. Try to come take out their control ward. Because I assume that she placed one. Very good. Hopefully, Karma lets me get this for my eyeball collection. Or not eyeball collection. Um, just for the gold, rather. Alright. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Relic shield stacking. We'll just chill. Let this wave push out to us. Try not to get poked down by the Lux. And we're looking real good. Not really worried about their poke. We're chilling super hard here. Stacking up our tier. Like I said, I already know that we're going to be kind of weak early on. I wonder... All right, nice. She does have the stack. I guess I could see the little orb flying around her. So, let me see. Does she have common, actually? She does. Okay, so that's common. I'll see the relic stack. It's more of like a shiny circle. Really good damage by the karma there. like the enemy pick up a rift herald good play by them just kind of waiting i want to look for a fish onto her if that hits we should kill for the flash onto her auto w -er. auto cure we should be able to kill this nice and then we may even be able to kill her too actually the minions were tearing me up there that was my bad nice good dodge by the karma if i had ignite there i think we would have been fine karma should be good right there Nice. Good play, good play. All right, let's grab the health. Um, hmm, let's see here. We're super close to the phage. That wasn't bad. I just played that a little too aggro. Didn't really account for the gigantic minion wave there. I should have just um, backed off instead of trying to go for the second kill. Should have got the kill onto the Lux and then just accepted that we got that and then backed off. Not a huge deal, though. I think we'll be doing just fine. She's beating us by about 30 CS, but we have 
five KP. So I think that's going to even out the gold. And then our team's doing really well around the map as well, so. And obviously, if we were going like a full AP build, we probably would have been able to kill both of them faster and survive there. But we're going the AD build. We're stacking up the tier. We're in a little bit of power trough right now. All right, let's get this farm. We can maybe look to do that Infernal Drake with uh, Silas when he comes down here after he gets done clearing his Crux. Ooh, didn't get the reset there. I don't have my ult, so I can't look for anything too crazy here. Uh, I definitely, I think we should just do this. Because we have the vision cleared out here. Have them push under. We can just do this. I don't think he goes for a dive. We just take this. Definitely think we just do this instead. Alright. Hopefully let him tank it up because this dragon is going to do a lot of damage to us if it hits us. Let's just stack these abilities here with our tier. Using all of our abilities. We have a bunch of mana, so I'm not super worried about it. Nice. Good smite by that guy. And we got this chick's ult. If she gets a slow on her, we can potentially look for a kill here. Yeah, we got this. I'm going to ignite her right away. Use my E as soon as it comes up. Nice. Getting another assist. Unfortunately, we're not getting the kills here. Not the hugest deal, though, honestly. We're getting a lot of KP, and that's the thing. Silas. A fed Silas is ridiculously strong, anyways. So that's really good. And we honestly have the potential to dive her here. If Karma looks for it. Take this out. I don't want to dive too hard, though, because Lee Sin could be in the area. As well as Morgana may be coming down. So we'll just settle for plates here and CS. Alright, and then we'll back it off. Probably look for a reset after this wave. The Relic Shield kind of messes me up a little bit. With my uh, W resets. Alright, we'll just get a reset in here. Not a huge deal. She's very tilted. You can tell by the way she's running me down. Here, she's not happy with being uh, bullied and lamed by AD Fizz. Alright, so we'll get the reset in here. Really don't mind giving up any plates to these people. We're honestly just slaying them. Um, mm, We're so close to this. We're just going to have to grab that. Grab the tier. With the Mana Moon and uh, Presence of Mind giving us a bunch of extra mana. The tier giving us a bunch of extra mana. Uh, Triforce. We're going to be hitting real hard after we get this uh, Mana Moon stacked up. So I'm going to do Triforce into Mana Moon. Because I don't think we're... Yeah, we're not even going to be able to stack it up. So if we go Mana Moon first, we'll just be in an even bigger Power Trove. I have ult in four. Did get her uh, exhaust out of the last fight, so that's really good. And if they keep pushing and this far extended, we can definitely look for a kill onto them. Other than that, we're just farming up here. Trying to stack up our mana immune. Let Karma do her thing. Just going to hit my E here. Miss a little bit of CS, but that's fine. We're down by... Hmm, what, like 30 CS? But it's kind of to be expected. They do have a double range lane. And Karma's getting a lot of this CS as well, 22. So, kind of got to account for that. I'm going to let them kind of do that. And then I'm just going to go for plates here. I think they should be fine just doing that themselves. They're pretty strong. Just go for the plates here. Get some damage on the tower. All right, let's back off here. I do have alt up. So if we get... I do have to be conscious that Karma's not with me in lane. So I can't go too ham. They could definitely kill me here. If I uh, attempt to like fight them or even step up for the CS. Especially with Silas backing. I don't have a lot of pressure. Not really worried about taking that damage either. This Lux isn't doing too great with her snares. Alright. Soaking up the CS. Getting our uh, tier stacked up here nicely. Karma D warding. Um, she might be toast there. Our Zoe. Just because that was a good rotation by the uh, enemy bot lane there. And I'll just try and make them miss this wave here to punish them. Actually, she doesn't even die there, does she? Really well played by my Zoe there. Let's see. Okay, they got Silas there. I'm just going to keep pushing. Silas looks like he gets the kill. That's super good. So even on their roam, they failed it. Just try and stack up our uh, tier here. Don't want to take out the tower right now. Mainly because I want to keep denying the enemy of CS and XP. 
So I'm just going to focus on taking the creeps here. And then I'll take this tower. Should be first tower blood too, which is real juicy. Very nice. Alright, so let's throw this ward down. Let's take out their vision. We do have a dragon in 58. I'm pretty free to just farm over here. Just go ahead and soften these up. This is going to be a W max because it's like an AD fizz, right? Kind of like an on-hit build. So let's just clear these up. Looks like Shackle's making a pretty good roam. Honestly, in the grand scheme of things, I don't think that's that bad. We got a lot there. Got this tower. Um, nice. We even got our Triforce, which is pretty huge. And we're going to scale like a really unit because this guy's passive is going to enable us all to get super good items. All right, so let's grab that Triforce. And then the next item on the agenda is going to be um, the Mana Moon. So let's go ahead and actually click onto that. And there that is. All right, so we're looking really, really good, honestly. Fizz ADC. 6 KP, only one death. Not too bad. Definitely want to go contest this Drake. It's up in four seconds. With Shaco top, we should be able to do this pretty easily. We're going to need Silas, though. We have the bot lane tower, so we ha do have pressure here. Silas hopping over. And if the enemy come contest this, we just kill him, honestly. So I'll W it. Stack up this mana moon a little bit more. Nice. And I think we can just come take these guys if they stay. All right. We don't have Silas coming with us, so I don't actually want to go, like, behind enemy lines. We'll just come over here and collect this farm. I'm going to double E so she can proc her relic. Yes. Nice. Nice, she's killing it. All right, not bad. We're doing pretty well here. 109 to 132. Jinx doing a really good job of, like, keeping a good CS lead on us. But like I said, it's a ranged lane. We sack a lot of uh, CS early. And Karma is getting a lot of the CS. 27, so that's 30. We'd be about even if it wasn't for that. Let's go ahead and throw a uh, control ward down there. Just so we have this little bottom quadrant controlled fully. Um, I think that might have been Lee Sin walking right through here. See if we can't make a little roam. Try to deny some vision here. Nice. She's dead here. I'm going to fit. Come over here and then just fish her and walk away. Nice. We did a lot of damage to her right there, actually. A lot of damage. Triforce power spike coming in hot. Ooh, can we get this cannon? Nice, we can. All right, looking pretty good. Let's just farm up here. Looking like the Silas picking up some good stuff. Double kill down there. That's really good. And then we're just going to keep pressuring it in here. 123, finally catching back up in CS. Um, I would assume Jinx has stayed here. And if not, we're going to use our Triforce and attack speed and just push this tower down. This is pretty good damage right here. Use our abilities, trying to still stacking up that uh, tier for the Mana Moon Power Spike. And honestly, right now, we're pretty turned on in terms of strength. Nice, still got that tower, or that uh, cannon. Let's see, I think we need like 1550. Yeah, so let's get a little bit of more gold, and then we'll probably look to get a reset in ourselves. Uh, I can't go bot lane for that gold, so I'm probably just going to come mid and try to steal a little bit of Zoe's CS here. Potentially. He's got the new uh, Prestige Zoe skin looking juicy. Alright, so I'm actually going to go bot here. I'm going to ping that I need just a little bit more gold so Orin doesn't like feel some type of way. Actually, we have a control ward here. We could probably look for a play here. I don't think I could 2v1 them at this point. If I had Mana Moon, I would definitely attempt it. But I don't think it's going to be possible. I'll just let them take that tower, and then I'll soak up this wave here. Looks like they pick us off. It's really not that big of a deal. All right, we got our 1550. Let's get a reset in here. I don't want to stay here because they could 2v1 me and probably get the kill onto me. So we'll just get a reset in. Grab the mana moon, and then probably head mid. All right, enemy team getting a couple kills. That's good for them. Good plays by them. But we're scaling up pretty hard. This guy's got 10 kills. This guy's going to scale up and be almost unkillable. He's going to give us the juicy items, too. Let's see. What is he rocking? He's going full AP. That's good for us. Don't really want to fight him here. Unless he steps up crazily. 
Just keep stacking these, uh, stacking this tier here. Did a lot of damage, though, actually, with that. Pretty surprised. I know Shackle's probably definitely looking for the shield. Nice. We should kill her here. Just waiting to save my E until, like, the very last second, right? Or unless I need to, like, dodge something critical. All right, we should be able to get this tower right now. I have a lot of uh, sustain here. Nice. Let's get that tower. Just kind of walk away here. I'm going to come to the, from the side here. Just in case if Shaco... Ooh, Shaco's got so many boxes here. Doing a lot of damage. Nice. Kills the Shaco. I'm just going to come grab this. Grab a bunch of health here. Not going to let that guy hit me with that, obviously. Because if he does land that, he kills. All right, so after the Triforce, I'm thinking I want to build a little bit of health. So I'm actually going to get a reset in here, mainly because we do have a dragon up in 25. And I want to get my full Corrupting Pot stacks back and start building towards um, my next item here, which is actually going to be a Sterix Gauge. Because that's going to amp up our Triforce procs, because it's going to give us base AD. And then I might actually, actually, you know what? Maybe a Titanic would be good here. We'll see. We will see. We'll see how the game state goes. Shaco teleporting in. Let's go ahead and ping that. I want to come join up with the team. They're going pretty ham right here. That should be a kill, but I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it. Because, we, like I said, we do have a dragon coming up. I'm going to come over here with her. Try to join the team. Let's see what we got here. Horn's going ham. Just going to come try and join him here. Look for a, really, a, just look for a fish on anyone at this point. Ignite her, and this should be a kill for me. Auto cure. Didn't get the Q, but that's fine. Still get the kill. That's, uh... Alright, he went this way, so... Actually, we may be able to kill him. If he hit, Okay, that's fine. Let's go do this Drake instead. I'm gonna let them do that. I'm gonna pop my pots and just take this Drake. 217, looking pretty good here. I should be able to solo this. see do we have this stacked almost fully stacked getting close so let's make sure we weave these abilities in here we have a bunch of attack speed with the triforce and the uh, legend of alacrity here use our e just trying to stack it up as much as possible nice get the dragons good too because it looks like our jungler actually just died so nice to get that um i think i am gonna go with the steric here give us a little bit more health make us tank here like i said it's gonna amp up our uh triforce procs as well because it increases, um, if you didn't know, Sterics increases your base AD. And that's what your Triforce procs or uh, your like little sheen from your Triforce is going off of. So let's come up here, see if we can't catch this guy. I'm trying to see, what do I need? They have a bunch of CC, so we're definitely going to go Merc Treads this game. I'm try going to try and catch this guy at maybe invading his blue here. Or even potentially at the Scuttle here. Look for a fish on Tomb. Nice, the fish actually lands. Should be a kill. Really juicy. We're not getting any of these kills, but we are making stuff happen, boys. Let's see if she'll let me cop this. Really good. All right, let's come up top. I'm just going to play top side because Orn's bot lane splitting, and he has TP up. So I'm going to pressure in this top lane. Keep our farm up. That's one thing uh, you definitely want to try and do here. Technically, we are playing in the ADC role, so we're going to want to try and keep that farm up. Jinx still maintaining a pretty good CS lead on us. But we're definitely making more things happen around the map. Oh, wow, those that Triforce proc is actually insane on that tower there. We have, like, insane uh, tower taking potential here, as you can see. With the Triforce, the extra attack speed. Nice. Let's see, what's our AD at right now? 249, so 250 auto attacks. Look, let's, let's get a little test here. It's pretty insane damage, if you ask me. For AD Fizz. Look for a fish onto him while he's drowsy. That's a kill. Q him. And then drop aggro with the E. Really, really juicy here. Oh, I didn't even know we had this mid lane inhib. That's really good. Um, We could definitely look to end here. If not through mid, we have this tower right here. So I'm just going to come over here. Watch this damage on this tower. All the attack speed we have, too. It's pretty insane. Good root by the locks there. 
get that tower. And then, honestly, I'm thinking... Nice, he just upgraded our Trinity Force, too, so we're going to be, like, <laughs> insanely strong. I think PTA would have been beautiful with this build, with the AD Fizz. Definitely would have been way more effective, especially in lane, too. But Electrocute's not bad. It just adds to the, like, burst whenever we Q auto W someone. I'm just going to sit in the side lane. I could take this tower super easily. I'm just going to flash to my team, see if someone will help me here. And QW through him, hit him with the Ignite, W him. I'm going to double E to him. Nice. Don't even need to double E. Auto Q him. I managed to E his uh, Q. If he hit me with that Q, I think he would have bursted me before I could have killed him. So that was really good. If we can't look for a fish onto someone. Smash my E here. Ooh, I wanted that Jinx super bad. All right, um, let's just bail out. We're uh, pushing the envelope here. Got a bunch of gold too, so I think we can reset here and get a pretty nice buy. I'm going to try and sneak these Krugs from the enemy, though. We have a lot of uh, sustain through our Ravenous Hunter. So whenever we activate our W, we're actually getting a bunch of uh, lifesteal. Easily can take these Krugs. Throw a ward down and get a reset in. All right, so let's see what we can get here. We can grab the Sterix. Definitely need to get Tier 2 boots. It's freaking 26 minutes into the game. Still have Tier 1 boots, so let's grab that. Um... Don't want to get rid of... Actually, let's see. It may just be better because we're staying pretty out of the fight. Let's just go ahead and grab that CDR, right? Mainly just because we have enough gold for it. It's going to help us with the E, right? So, let's see. We may even be at 40. 30%, which is pretty good because 20% on Fizz, I mean, doesn't feel that great. Not only for your ult, but the biggest thing is for your uh, Playful Trickster. You really want to be able to have that on a short-ish cooldown. Do you have another... We should be getting Dragon Soul here pretty soon if the game doesn't end. So I'm just going to come push a side lane. They may engage onto Zoe. But it looks like my team's all going over there to respond. So I'm just going to sit in the side lane and just hard shove it. I have like insane split pushing potential right now. My QW just did like 700 damage. It's nuts. Watch this damage here. Chunking these towers. All this attack speed too. That's a lot. And if the enemy team just stays over there fighting my team, then I just easily get all these structures. We do have our Mana Moon stacked up, so now we're doing insane damage with our uh, abilities. I'm just going to double EMQ to her. Nice. Gets me with this, the uh, Snare, but that's fine. I have a bunch of extra health in the Sterics. There's the little Sterics shield. All the enemies are dead, and we just push it down and end the game here. So there it is, guys. And I think there's like a couple diamond tier players on the enemy team as well. We'll check check in the after action. I know that the uh, Morgana was diamond last season. Let's take that inhib. And just rush over here and in the game. I want to look to fish this chick. As soon as she comes up, just kind of add to the tilt factor, right? A little wang bow, bang bow. Nice. Get, the, get another assist there. All right, there it is, boys. Fizz ADC with the AD build versus Jinx. Take to the after action after this. All right, guys, this is the after action for the game we just played as Fizz ADC versus that Jinx and Lux bot lane. So starting from my top laner, my Orn was sitting at Platinum 3. We had a Diamond 4 in the jungle, Gold 4 in the mid lane. I'm sitting at Gold 4 myself at 95 LP. So one more win. We should be in promos, which is pretty good. I'm going to play some uh, rank tomorrow on Sunday. That's when I usually like to get my rank games in. Um, probably do one or two. If we can win the first one and get into promos, I'll try and get the whole promo series uh, tomorrow, but I do have to, a couple things I have to do. So we'll see how it goes, play it by ear. Our Karma was sitting at Diamond 2, and wow, what a, what a great support, right? 2-1-19, um, played really phenomenally ar around me and Lane, never said anything to me about the Fizz pick or about my build. Um, a lot of the times you'll, not only when you lock in Fizz ADC in the bot lane, do people complain, but even more so whenever you're going a super, super off meta build in the actual AD with Fizz. So shout out to this guy, um, Ferocious something, played really well around me, and uh, yeah, we really enjoyed that. Um, the rest of my team, phenomenal. Everyone everyone with the orange KDAs played really, really solid. Um, Orn, I think, got got killed early by the Shaco, but Shaco's kind of a cheese pick top, especially when he's going AP. It's a very like, niche niche like lane right it's you're there's really he's the only champ that you're gonna have to lane in that specific way against him so unless you're really used to playing against it 
uh, it can give you some problems. Uh, our jungler, also fantastic jungler, played really, really well. Gank bot lane a couple times, helped us either get their summoners or he would follow up on us uh, getting our own laner summoners. So, i.e., when they didn't have their summoners spells up, he would come down and make sure that something happened. Uh, mid lane didn't really see too much what happened there, but 728, guess I really don't need to see what happened there. I know she roamed on a couple of those skirmishes in the jungle early. Uh, when we picked those four assists up, I know it was her roam and her coming to that fight was pretty pivotal. Um, yeah, and that set the precedent for the whole game. We got those four assists really, really early. Uh, we didn't have our dark seal, so we didn't get to stack though that those assists. But even after that, we came back to lane. We hit level six, all in the Lux, and then just kind of super snowballed the game from that point. And right here where we are at, we're like extremely strong. You saw it when I think we Q auto W'd the Jinx and almost killed her. You know what I mean? And that was with Electrocute. AD build, you know what I mean? If we would have had PTA, we may have even killed her with that. Because the Q, the auto W, the PTA, and just the exposure, like the bleed from the exposure, may have killed her. But yeah, it felt pretty cool. Man Immune definitely takes a... Uh, you, you feel for sure a little weak in the early game. Because during that, like, that skirmish where we fought all four of them, I think if I had like the AP build, I definitely would have got some of those kills instead of the assists, but we didn't actually get the kills because we, we all, I think all we had was like a tier at that point, tier and a health belt. So not a lot of combat stats, but we still managed to make it work. Uh, starting from the enemy top laner, the Shaco was diamond two. The enemy jungler was sitting at platinum four. The Morgana in mid lane was level 74. And like I said, I checked her out and she was diamond last season. Um, didn't check her out. But level 272, so I would imagine that she plays some ranked. I mean, you don't play the game for that long and not play any ranked at all. Uh, the Jinx we were going up against in lane was gold 2. And she didn't play the lane terrible, honestly. If you think about it, she was poking us when she could. She got a lot of harass on us. Um, just that karma really prevented them from doing too much, right? And honestly, the, the Lux wasn't... I, th I felt like she was really trying to force the double range lane, right? She was throwing out those snares at random. Wasn't really like, I don't, I think maybe she hit us with one the whole laning phase. Hit Karma with maybe one or two. Uh, but other than that, she was just throwing the the Qs and the Es at random. Not really layering layering them with her damage. Uh, I think the only kill we gave over was the, whenever we hit level six and we all in Lux. And then I, that was, it was just my bad. Personally, it was a bad play by me. I, as soon as we got the kill on Lux, I should have just kited out. Used the Karma shields and the speed up to get away. But I got really greedy and tried to kill the Jinx as well. And then I was I didn't like pay attention to how many minions they had. The enemy had a, a butt ton of minions there, which enabled her to get the kill on me and almost secure kill on the Karma. But overall, the game went really well. We stuck in the side lanes, got a bunch of CS, used the Mana Moon to push down the objectives, grouped up where we could, and basically just, yeah, took over the game. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you haven't yet, sub to the channel. It really does help, and we'd love to have you here. If you want to see anything in the future in specific, let me know in the comment section below. All right, hope to see you guys on the next video.